Hi, my name is Joe Conti, and hopefully today we'll be laying down some track. I'm going to try to lay down the red track. It's level, there's no inclines in it, and it has one, two, uh, three, four, five points. Um, for the time being, I will not be doing this one, I don't have it yet. But these, this here and here, and these two here, I have. So I'll be doing the red track with both tracks around the platform, around the loop there, back again, and back to the station. So, yesterday I glued the straights for the red uh, loop. Today I want to attempt to uh, put cork down around this bend here. I'm planning on having something like this. I've tried cutting this cork here in uh, in the slices to bend it. It didn't work for me. So now I asked around and I was told to cut it in half. And it's easier to bend. Makes sense. Easier to bend half the width. Anyway, I'm going to try that and uh, see how that goes. Okay, as you can see, I've finished uh, putting the cork down the bend and um, it wasn't difficult to be honest with you I thought it was going to be more difficult but um, I think the worst part was putting all these nails in <laughs> and uh, since I can't put weight on them because if I remove the nails I'm afraid that they'll move to put weight on so for the time being I'm leaving them with the nails there and every so often I push them down with my fingers like I'm doing now to assist uh, um, to simulate some weight <clears throat> so that seems to be working um, I think I'll continue doing the other bends I have and when I'm all done with that I'll update you and give you uh, a tour of the uh, the red loop so far <clears throat> Not much to see right now, but I'll finish this part of the track lane. I've wired each bit of track individually. I have I dropped the cable and uh, just giving the shunter a little run with my make do. Let me show you with my make do speed forward reverse and off in the middle Moving to the other side of the layout, and this is where these two tracks here, these two here, are the station. The platform will be in the middle here. They will keep going up here and eventually join at the top in, in the curve. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the point for that. I need a, a curved point. <coughs> And uh, well, I ordered it, and when it gets here, it gets here. But for the time being, I'm going to join this to there. I'm not gluing anything here. I'm just going to pin it down to hold because I need to get this working. I can't wait to see it working. So this will be a dead end for now. I will keep the point behind the camera. I will keep it pointing to the side of, of the platform, and it will just go around. It will go around here, 
onto these two points which will eventually go around that bend and move the camera down their zone and uh, <clears throat> these points here will join these here uh, which are on the outer loop the, the outer loop will have uh, two loops a lower loop and an upper loop um, uh, I'm going to have some different levels here with bridges maybe a tunnel somewhere anyway um, uh, <clears throat> once I join this point to this point here this bend here 10 minute job I will have the lower loop the inner loop complete and I can run some trains hopefully so let me get started on that and uh, and then I'll show you um, the what's going on underneath the layout okay I finished all the track on on the inner loop and the only thing that's left is if you see to your far left uh, there's something on top of the the rail and um, it's just wait to uh, until the the glue sets properly so until that's done and um, uh, i'm going to raise raise the the layout to the ceiling and uh, i'm going to start with those drop cables and uh, i'm going to start connecting them so i'm going to give you a view of the uh, the layout going up so going up That's it. And for security, I have this rope here, which will be a safety just in case something goes wrong. I have one on each side. What I am going to do next is pick up these droppers and connect them to the main cable for the inner loop only. I have to go around the whole underside of the of the layout and connect these all together. So for all the dropper cables, they are connected to the bus cable like this, and then I solder them. Hang on, focus. And then I solder them and I put heat shrink like this. I've done it all, just the last one left. <clears throat> just this one left. And I'm going to cut this here. I'm going to leave this long, coil it up, insulate it, and leave it coiled up there. So, and this is one advantage of having a, a raised platform. I'm standing. I don't need to crawl under my table. The table goes up. <laughs> when this is ready, I'll give it a spin and show you what I've done.
already. Um, I'm very pleased with it. Um, uh, there were a couple of hiccups, mainly with the points, but uh, I found a way around. My first layout. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> um, uh, so, next episode, hopefully I'll be able to show you the outer loop with different levels. Uh, the construction of that. I might get into more detail with that because of the the inclines and the rock formation. This one was very basic, everything level. Anyway, until the next time, like and subscribe, please. And I'd like to hear your opinion about this. Thank you. Have a good day and be safe.